Let's talk about advanced camp, that last challenge before you commission into the United States Army as an officer. Let's get right into it. The arrival. I flew straight into Louisville, Kentucky Airport. Before I go any further, I want to offer you some advice. Eat when you get there. Before you go down those steps, listen, don't rush to failure. Before you go down those steps and you see those non-commissioned officers or those LTs, captains out there, before you see them, eat something, okay? And the reason why I give you that tip is because that may be your last time in a long time eating something good. Don't be like me and forego eating at KFC because you're just ready to go to camp. All right. So from my experience, when I went down those steps, I couldn't go back up. They had me, told me to put my duffel bags in a truck and they gave me a civilian MRE. I was kicking myself for a long time. After that, they put us on a bus and we bust out to Fort Knox. Once we got there, got off the bus, we got assigned our platoons our squads, and also we were assigned our rooms, our barracks rooms. For us, you know, we're the generation that went right after the pandemic. So we had to go through several different protocols that maybe you won't have to go through. It was called Merrill Phase for us. They may do away with Merrill Phase, but for us, we had to quarantine for 10 days. That's what it looked like on top of our in-processing. So after in processing, which wasn't bad, I'm prior service. I've dealt with, you know, a lot worse in processing days. That wasn't bad at all. It was just hot. OK, but after in processing phase, we met our cadre, our cadre. They were awesome. It, we had two captains. We had one LT and then we had one master sergeant. And they were awesome. And the reason why I highlight them is because a lot of what I'm about to say next, and maybe these are answered questions that you may have, is going to be cadre dependent. Like, are you going to have time to talk on your cell phone? Are you going to be able to have your cell phone? That's cadre dependent. For the most part, we had our phones. All right, so breakfast, we ate at the defect, the dining facility, hot chow. It was amazing. Um, I mean, as amazing as Army Child's going to get. For lunch, we did eat our MREs. And then for dinner, we ate at the dining facility again. Where do we sleep? Well, in garrison phase, and I'll talk about that uh, later on, garrison phase, we, we stayed in barracks with like seven other cadets. Did we do PT? Yes, we did PT. So always be prepared to PT, take whatever test you have to take, and just have a uh, physically fit appearance at all times. That's a given, that's a no brainer. In Garrison, you're gonna be marching, you're gonna be doing a lot of DNC, and you're also gonna have something called CTO time. You're gonna have so much CTO time, at least we had so much CTO time, that after camp, you're never gonna wanna hear CTO again. All right, that's that time off that you're gonna get. And the goal and the purpose is helpful if you do it the right way. The goal and the purpose of CTO time is to find out who you're gonna be working with in the field. Team trust, teamwork, develop SOPs, all that good stuff. Quick tip that I have for CTO time is be a team player. Again, you have type A personalities you got natural born leaders or people that have been taught how to be a leader, people trying to be a leader. So you're going to have a lot of different personalities that have to mesh and you have to figure out a way to have some cohesion. So a tip that I have is be engaged, be involved, be a team player. Don't be the well at my school. We do it like this guy. All right. Everybody's school teaches different pull out doctrine and try to be on point with doctrine as much as possible. But do not let doctrine take over your common sense. Another tip that I have for CTO time is add value to your platoon, add value to your squad, teach a class. Okay. 
teach a class, teach a LDA crossing, teach how to conduct radio operations or radio etiquette, teach something, bring your skill to the table. And you know what? Maybe you're not confident in tactics or teaching. Maybe you have some like outside skills that you can bring to the table. Do that. Like for me, in addition to teaching classes about tactics and army stuff, also provided Bible studies to anybody that wanted like a spiritual pick me up. We're out here in the field and around people that we don't know, away from our families and people that really care about us. And a lot of people need a spiritual pick me up. So bring your skill to this environment and add value to people in any way that you can. So let's talk about the evaluations. You will have two evaluations, or at least we had two evaluations in Garrison. And those um, leadership positions that you'll be in should be a day, all right? Squad leader should be a day. Platoon sergeant should be a day. Platoon leader should be a day. Um, however, there are other positions that you may get and they will be longer. For example, I was the company first sergeant. I was in that position for, I think, six days. And I was evaluated on that. And I had to do everything from just making sure that the day-to-day -day tasks were being taken care of, information was being disseminated down to the lowest level, the schedule was put out, everybody understood what was going on, packing lists, the barracks were getting clean, people were squared away, so on and so forth. Now, I wanna give you a tip on how you can excel on your evaluations all right here's a tip if you focus on taking care of the mission and taking care of your people the blue card will essentially write itself don't worry about it all right i know that's counterintuitive but don't worry about it just be yourself be confident take care of the mission take care of your people and you will get that e which is the highest exceptional excellent um or a p that's the second highest, which is good if you get that. Boom, kudos to you. Um, and then C, and then a U is the lowest, okay? But just always keep that in mind. Don't worry about the blue card. And the blue card will write itself. Just do your job. The next phase is your deployment phase. For us, we had a series of FTXs. Our first FTX, it was like the crawl phase. It was called Wolverine. That is the phase where our cadre showed us what right looks like and they put us all on the same foundational level. Because again, you have people coming from all over the nation and here's what right looks like, here's what our expectations are, and here's how we're gonna be evaluating you. This is the baseline. They ran through the missions, they showed us how things should look, what they're gonna be looking for, then they allowed us to run through those same exact missions ask any and all questions that we may have or you know just try it out trial and error and we were not being blue carded we were not being evaluated so that phase was extremely helpful it was three days after those three days we went to our first refit our first refit or refit in general is to just refit you you get you get to refit your bags refit and get new uniforms maybe it rained and your uniforms are soaked um, or you know it's, it's going to be hot so you're sweating they're nasty they're mucky you're nasty you're mucky they're dirty you're dirty it's dusty it's muddy you can go and take a shower you have a nice cool tent that you can relax in sleep in there's a lot of outlets so you can charge your phones and all that good stuff. I wanna give you a tip for the refit day. Now I already know you're not gonna to listen to this tip, all right, you're gonna do your own thing, but I have to put it out there because I have to be responsible, right? Go to sleep during those refit days, all right? You will thank me later. You will thank yourself later, forget me. You'll thank yourself later, go to sleep. Instagram can wait, your boo can wait, mom and dad can wait. All right, you can have other time to talk to them. All right, but during those refits, during your deployment phase, sleep because those days are going to be early, strenuous, a lot of movement, a lot of walking, a lot of rucking. 
Speaking of rucking, when you go to the field, pack light. Ask yourself questions. Do I really need all of my sleep system? Probably not, because it's summer, it's hot. I don't need the other three parts. Just bring my bivy, bring a sleeping mat. Do I really need these extra boots? Hmm, probably not. Maybe I can just take the insoles out and bring those, save space, and if my boots get wet, I can just slip the new inserts in there. That's what I did, it worked. I had zero issues, all right? Another tip, um, you'll probably like this one, bring a good portable charger because at the refit, yes, you have outlets. However, everybody's thinking the same thing. I gotta charge my phone, I gotta talk, I gotta get on social media, and you're not gonna have, I mean, if you're lucky, you will have an outlet, but you know, you don't want to be left out so bring a good portable charger so then after that refit you're gonna to go to your next phase or at least we went to our next phase of um, our FTX which was Panther that was our second FTX but this FTX was a little different all right it was a little higher speed than that crawl phase of Wolverine it wasn't cadre led we weren't able to ask questions and we were being evaluated in leadership roles, all right? So again, take care of the mission, take care of your people. The evaluation will write itself. Again, it was three days. And after those three days, we had another refit day, same deal. Then after that refit, we had our last FTX, which was, um, Grizzly. So Grizzly was probably my favorite phase because the pressure was off. You already got your grade. So now you can get innovative and really try new things, try different tactics. And um, we got our butts kicked a lot by the infantry unit, but it was fun. Enjoy your time out there. Then after that, you're gonna go to your last refit. And then the, the, the following morning, it's gonna be an early morning. At least for us it was. I think we woke up at like 0 2 um, or 2 in the morning. And we uh, conducted our 12 mile ruck. That's the last event. Everybody's super stoked, pumped up because after that, you're done. You spent a total of like 12 days in the field. 13 if you're going to count that first, that very first day where you ruck 8 miles to the refit site. All right, 13 total. Um, if you count that day, but about 12, 13 days embracing the suck. Um, and so that 12 mile ruck is what everybody looks forward to. After the 12 mile ruck, you'll get some kind of breakfast. Ours was awesome. We had like steak and eggs. Everybody is like ready to graduate and go home at this point. So after that, you're gonna be preparing for graduation. So you're gonna have graduation rehearsal, then you're gonna graduate, and then you're gonna hear those magic words. So congrats, advanced camp is over, all right? But keep this in mind, you're only gonna get out what you put in. So prepare yourself before you go. Prepare yourself mentally. What does that look like? That looks like taking care of home because it's gonna be hard for you to concentrate at camp if home stuff is not taken care of, if your bills aren't paid, if you don't have a plan to pay, to pay your rent, take care of kids, if you have kids, um, just all of your family matters and back at home essentials. Take care of that school essentials, sign it up for classes. Take care of home because that's gonna help you mentally prepare and be actively engaged in the process. Then you wanna prepare yourself physically. You don't wanna go there out of shape. You wanna be in the best shape of your life, all right? So you wanna prepare yourself mentally and physically. And then you wanna just have fun. Build relationships with people. You have an opportunity to be around the best and the brightest future leaders from all over the nation. Get their numbers, build networks, build relationships. You never know where you guys are gonna need each other, where how you guys are gonna meet, or how you guys are gonna fit into each other's lives. 
down the road. So get their numbers, start a group meet, group chat, whatever, and have fun. Smile. This is like, if you're not smiling doing this, then you're probably doing the wrong thing and you're probably in the wrong place. So smile and have fun. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this and you've gone to Advanced Camp, help us out a little bit, all right? Talk to us, give us some tips, share your experience, share your knowledge. Rewatch this, this is a long video, it has a lot of information in it, um, and also share it. Maybe you have a friend that's going to CST soon. Give it to them. Don't be stingy with the content, all right? And um, come back, join the family, and I'll see you in the next video.